Hello and welcome to the 23rd financial charting tutorial with Python and Matplotlib. Where we left off, we were creating this chart. We made the function for an exponential moving average and we also made the function for MACD using that exponential moving average function. We made some space. We got rid of the dates here. We fixed the dates down here. We'll fix this in a little bit and we'll fix these colors in a little bit as well. Um, but what we're going to do now is uh, approach the moment of truth and see if our exponential moving average uh, and uh, MACD function actually work. So let's close out of this and close out of this and let's begin. So I think what we'll do is you go, let's see, AX2, let's first of all make some space so we can actually breathe here. Uh, let's lower this a little bit and let's begin here. <sighs> okay, so um, just so we can edit it later, we'll go ahead and do N for period. Uh, slow equals the 26. Then we'll use N fast equals 12. And the EMA uh, period for that histogram is going to be a 9. Then what we'll do is EMA slow, EMA fast, and MACD equals compute MACD. And then again, we use the close price to do that. Then finally, we do EMA9 uh, equals the EXP moving average of what? MACD and that uh, period of 9. Then, uh, next thing that we want to do, I think, is plot this stuff. I'm just scared to plot it, but uh, got to approach it at some point. So x2 dot plot and what we want to plot is date MACD and I guess we'll just do that. <laughs> Before we start uh, adding any other variables let's make sure it works and then finally also we want to ax2 dot plot uh, date EMA9 and the next thing we want to do is the final part and that is going to be an x2 dot fill between and date macd oh shoot let's see this will be at macd minus ema9 uh, and we fill between anything you know zero basically um Alpha will say is 0 0.5 face color equals, and really we should we should uh, define a fill color. So let's do that real quick. Fill color equals. Let's take uh, this right here. Same color as volume. Then in a little bit we'll have we'll fix our chart to look at least a little better. Maybe you guys are better with colors than me, but I can think of a few ways that we can fix the chart at least. Um, so anyway give it that fill color so face color equals fill color and then edge color will also equal fill color then let's see let's go ahead and uh, clip that upper and so real quick I'm just gonna do a control F for prune I think we do have one now yes so we'll just take this copy it Come back down to AX2 here. Where are we here? Paste. We want to do it to the Y axis, so that's good. Prune, and we actually want to prune the upper. I think that'll work out for us. And I think that's everything we want to do for now. We could title it. I guess, yeah, we'll add the title. So plt.y label and matd color equals white. And I think what I'll do is move this. I try to like group everything together, right? Like um, the plotting of the data, you know, goes up here. You define the variables right at the top. Um, make data if you need to, plot the data. 
and then adjust the data, you know, colors and all that kind of stuff. So I try to group all that stuff together. So that's why I want to move that. Okay, let's plot it, run it. And here is our line. So a couple things, obviously, right off the bat, um, it looks really good. So our MACD line worked. But, um, you know, we're not too happy with the default colors that it chose, but we, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, also, we need to add that minus SP to it. Um, but otherwise, uh, just visually looking at it, you should be able to tell that, okay, that, that did indeed work. So hopefully yours looks something like mine if you're using eBay anyways. But you should kind of know um, right away, right? Like the, the, the histogram should be the lowest. Um, the lowest one, it should probably react before everything else. Then you've got like the short uh, EMA that should react and probably go higher and lower than the next one which is you know like the kind of long-term one so it should be a little more tame so you should be able to like just visually look at your data and know whether or not that was correct or not but it sure enough does look correct you could also probably find some sort of uh, website that'll chart the same thing for you and these the values that we're using are pretty typical so you should have no problem uh, making sure that the calculation is correct but looks good to me um, so yeah let's add the uh, minus SP uh, to this here it is. Let's copy that. Let me close this to make sure it doesn't keep bothering us. And come down and beginning here, date MACD minus SP minus SP. Same thing here, minus SP minus SP. And the fill between needs all three to have it. And it needs to be on both of these variables. So don't, um, don't forget that. Um, okay, so let's try this again. Okay, cool. Bring it over. And you should see that, okay, sure, yeah, it is indeed um, all lined up now. So, cool. So I think what we'll do now is in the next tutorial, um, we'll kind of fix this graph up. You know, we did, I thought we trimmed the upper. Did we not trim the upper on this? I swear we have a thing that's trimming the upper. Uh, I'll look at that when I close this. But anyway, in the next tutorial, I think what we'll do is we'll at least fix you know this area here to not be a problem. Um, we're going to change up the colors a little bit. We'll fix. We'll do some stuff to this RSI line. Um, I think we're going to change the red and green here a little bit. We'll just change up some of the colors. Hopefully, make this chart look a little bit, a little bit better than it does right now. It looks pretty good, but it looks kind of goofy. Like uh, we're just all over the place with colors. So. Um, so now I, the functionality of our chart is pretty much done. I, I believe the share axis does indeed work. Let's test that real quick. Yeah. So the functionality of the chart is done. So the only thing that we have left to really do is kind of like fix it visually a little bit. So if that sounds of interest to you, then continue on to the next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and your subscriptions. And until next time. Mm-hmm.